Monday. Welcome back to Weekend Edition and Rehash, where we recap some of the headlines from the past week. And there certainly was a lot of big headlines this week. Take, for example, the lockdown at Machinano Elementary School in Jigo. A father who has children to attend the school there claimed that school officials hadn't done anything uh, for a year to address his complaints of his kids being bullied. Last week, he was so irate he confronted school officials. He's since been banned from the school, and just this week, another incident of his child being bullied. He was so upset he called the school and asked for the police to be called. He then called KUAM and had us on the phone the whole time when um, the police were there. Uh, and he wasn't arrested. Uh, he met though with Superintendent John Fernandez after the incident and Fernandez posted this comment on our Facebook page. And I'll only read a portion of it because it is quite long. Uh, John Fernandez wrote, I'm glad Mr. Camacho Camacho and I met today to discuss his issues with the school. He accepted his part in this. I committed to address his concerns. Most of all, we agreed we need to work together if his children are going to be successful and safe in school. Apparently, there are others with concerns. Feel free to email me at johnfernandez at gdoe.net. And you can read his full statement on our Facebook page. And staying with education, the Guam Education Board made a decision this week on Kuku Chamorro. Lisa, you covered that story? Well, as you know, the controversy regarding Kubuchmoro has been going on for several weeks. Following student protests, John Fernandez called a Guam Education Board work session last week, and it was the first time that students were included at the session. So after giving their concerns, they made a decision earlier this week, so they voted 7 to 1 to implement John Fernandez's um, his recommendations to temporarily suspend Board Policy 705, so students can bring in food to Kubuchmoro, but it must be through a licensed food vendor. Uh, who adheres to health and safety requirements. So um, students get a compromise, but right. it's, you know, it's better than what they had before. Right, and, and what did uh, people say about that? So Mateo Mantinonia commented on our Facebook page. He said, it's hard to make both sides happy. They're just looking out for the health and the safety of the students, but also making them lose their tradition and culture at the same time. It's a tough decision, but it's just a safety issue, that's all. After all, our culture and teaching stem from our elders. Okay, our next story, they were three best friends who were hit by a car while walking along a dark road in Jigo, and the person accused of being behind the wheel appeared in court this week. And Crystal, that was your story. Yes, Bria. 24-year-old Kualin Garong appeared in court today. She was summoned to appear today, uh, not today, I'm sorry, earlier this week, where she was arraigned and she pleaded not guilty to the charges. She appeared with her attorney, Randy Cunliffe, who she's retained since she actually confessed or turned herself in to police late last year after the, after the hit and run in late November. Mm -hmm. So again, not guilty. It was the first time any of the media actually got to see her. It was yeah. just literally a field day at the court. Mm -hmm. And what, what did people say online about that story? Uh, Warren Rodemacher says, rest in peace to the three young souls and may the Lord let them rest easy and be with their families and make who's responsible pay. The local Catholic church has had a rough time over the last several months, as we all know. And this week they were back in the headlines. Jolene, that was your story. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, with all the controversies the church is already seeing, this really hit the Catholic community hard. Um, Father Louis Camacho from the San Dimas and San Dionisio churches um, was arrested earlier this week and charged with custodial interference as police found him with a 17-year-old female minor parked at a beach in Agate. Now, we cannot speculate as to what they were doing, but the Archdiocese has launched an investigation into the matter, and um, Father Lu uh, Louis Camacho has since resigned as the pastor of both the churches, and his, his, he has been stripped of, of his um, faculties, which means he can only do what Archbishop Aperon tells him to do. Um, but on Facebook, we have received many comments, and one comment came from Miss Vicenta Sanchez Dinelli. Uh, she says, my prayers go out to all the people on Guam during this Lenten season. Two wrongs do not right the issues that Guam is going through. I will not judge anyone. I leave that in the hands of our Lord, Jesus Christ. God bless everyone. Well, another sensitive story, of course, was uh, the one we did earlier this week, which garnered hundreds of comments on social media. It was about a woman who misplaced her baby behind Chuck E. Cheese and Dumuni. When confronted by, by police, she initially said the baby wasn't hers and then finally admitted it was her child. And she said she was on her third bottle of wine. 
and was out of control, and that's a, a quote. One of our viewers summed it up best in one word. Her, that Facebook comment was from Jaina Nakamura, who wrote, sad. Well, that really was a sad story, I couldn't believe it. If you have stories that you would like for the news team to cover, email us at reporters at kwm.com, or please send us a message on Facebook. Stay tuned, Next, uh, more Week in Edition continues.